Okay, so this is the uh, second generation of the Spin Series. This is the C55 version. 11 kilowatt, this particular one, maximum working pressure of 10 bar. This is ideally suited to the automotive trade. No dryer on this one, uh, that's an optional extra. Uh, so if you want to run to put CNC's or anything like that, obviously you would need a dryer. Uh, little has changed actually internally. <clears throat> they made a few changes obviously to the uh, main enclosure. They've sort of squared it off. Also they've introduced a new controller, uh, which gives you a lot more parameters you can play about with. Uh, top pressure, uh, you can the bottom pressure. It gives you more information. Also, now it will flash up and tell you when it needs servicing, which was uh, always a bugbear with the old one, which just had a simple hours clock. Uh, all in all, good build, no Chinese items in this one. What we'll do is give these some power and give her a start. So the main board up. And we push and hold three seconds. One, two, three. As you saw in seven bar at the moment. So now it's up the clock. Simple checks you can do, obviously, top pressure here. You can check uh, the running temperature as well, it doesn't seem to With the machine stopped, you can go in then into the program, uh, set your parameters. Resets for this is on our mate's website. Um, all in all, very handy little machine. So, what we're going to do now is simply stop it. There's a run on timer. Kill the power now. And then what we can do is open the unit up. Inside, like the old one, <coughs> we've got simple oil checks here, oil level. Obviously, simple drainage. We have oil filter, spin on. Oil separate just at the back, which you need to remove the top. And the air filter is just set at the back as well. Again, to change the air filter, you need to take the top off. Main radiator, easy access, keep this all clear. Obviously, or dust, that's the main cooling, that's the important thing. Especially if you need spray booths or anything like that. So, Really, not a lot to do on the servicing. Um, service intervals, 2,000 hours. Comes with two years manufacturer's warranty, so long as you have it service within the uh, first year. Um, <coughs> all in all, can't really complain about that one.